I really can't think this is spring. Basically, it's like the longest March ever. <sighs> Quick garden tour of what's still alive and growing. I don't know, I planted some pots with some violas I got on sale. I lost, I don't know, five herbaceous perennials last winter. So I'm starting to replace them, but you need the large ones to overwinter properly. So these are small ones. I suspect next winter I'll just, I'm just going to pile this on top with compost. Um, this sage. I moved from three different houses and it was huge. And right now it's all that's left alive on it. So hopefully I can eventually sculpt that back into a shrub. But I got another little sage going. Just a few things. Only the herbaceous, the perennials that were under the ground survived. We got some marjoram and some mint. I thought that was an oregano. And tiny, tiny little bits of thyme. Yeah, it's going to be expensive. Oh, here we got our, our uh, the Tyrian Lannister of apple trees. The one I bought with the break. We did do the graft, and I see little bits of life, so the graft is working. Uh, after a couple years, the smart thing might be to to graft this side one and graft it to the top if it lives so long. Who knows? But uh, here's our other tree. This is the Liberty which gave us six or eight scrawny looking apples last year. And a work in progress over here. Got a couple of little, a new bed. And I got five rhubarbs, but they can't stay there. Uh, eventually I'm gonna, next project for this week is to dig all this up. Uh, neighbors are definitely probably gonna put in a fence line, so. Uh, but I think if I put in five rhubarbs here, they'll be out of the way. And I got a little teepee going with uh, some pea sprouts, pea seedlings. Which I know, I could have bought a lot of peas for the amount of money that I paid for the seedlings. But in here, we have a couple of taller pea towers and some tele telephone peas. I don't know, they're really long seedlings. Um, they're buried in there somewhere, so hopefully they'll grow. And I had three um, grapevines. I believe two died. I had thrown them in, threw them in here because I hadn't figured out where to put them. Oh, I lie. This one is still living. And that one seems to have died. It was a really bad winter. That one seems to be going gangbusters. It may be kind of screwed. I hadn't figured out where to put it yet. But it can stay there, I suppose. I'll just have to build. I was thinking of doing a grape barber from one side to the other side with some 4x4s. And that's some ramps that I bought at the grocery store, threw in the ground. I'm very surprised that they came, they're coming back. Uh, the rest of the green stuff in there is weeds. Uh, last year I accidentally bought um, hay instead of straw. Here our alliums are always doing well. This is green onions. Some I bought last year, the year before, whatever. I just come out and cut them when I need them. I think those are leeks. Not exactly sure. I lose track. Most of these are um, shallots. Some of them our garlic. I think that's the garlic. I'll figure it out when I pull them. So far we've put in some lettuce seedlings and somewhere in there are actually lettuce seeds. So hopefully they'll come on by the time I finish eating these. I uh, did put in the uh, sun gold cherry tomatoes and zucchini. And yellow squash. We always put the same ones in the same places. But one of the 
one of the yellow tomatoes got dug up by one of the cats, so I bought a couple of replacements. If they start to uh, wilt, I put a little greenhouse over them, and those seems to have popped back. They seem to pop back up just fine. So, we're different ones, we do different things. And, there. And, I just got the little bamboo supports. I just have to wind them with uh, twine to give them the rest of the support. And that'll keep the cats out of there. So that's what we've got going on in the beds right now. Uh, we're here. I have no idea what those are. Um, things I bought last fall on discount through the ground. However, there's a little white clematis. I think it's white. Maybe it's purple. I can't remember. I really thought that had died. There was a mini azalea there. That decided not to grace us with this presence anymore, but that one came with the house. A lot of the um, small woody perennials died over winter, and I've heard that it's not just me. Uh, I should have divided two of these rhubarbs, and I didn't. I gotta remember to do that in the spring, and I made a note to that effect. I've already uh, deadheaded the uh, flowers, because I want more rhubarb. I don't need it to flower. I might have to do it again if this uh, bolts turns into flowers. But I've already pulled some rhubarb and uh, eat, cooked it. <laughs> so these I should have divided into two. Uh, each year I come here I put another one. So uh, there's three and I've got those five to put in over there. Hopefully I won't be able to harvest any of those until next year. But eventually we'll be growing enough to have an actual harvest. I uh, thought I would experiment with um, strawberries. Never tried growing them before. And I just sort of hung it. <laughs> See what happens. I have tried to kill that rose bush, I don't know how many times. In front of the gas meter was not a good idea. But uh, I bought a uh, morning glories, which usually, last year I had it on that trellis, but since I got these metal ones, uh, can't remember what it was, I got them from my mother's, but I attached them to the house. So that's some morning glories in a pot, and they will grow up that, up the side of the house, and leave a mess on the second floor. But I don't really care. And uh, we have lots of other perennials that came with the house. Uh, sedums, obviously. They weren't, some of them weren't in the right places. I did move things around. And we planted things in different places. Uh, yeah, this is my work zone. I gotta, I don't really care about grass, but I'd just rather it be green than mud. So, uh, what else we got going on? Um, I keep threatening to move this holly. She's ready to be moved. I've cut her back to the point where I could take her out and lift her. I've cut back tons. This was a huge wall of messy shrubs. Uh, previous owner really liked the dense um, privacy, but since the neighbors are putting up a fence, it doesn't matter. But I've cut that back. That's a lilac. I've forgotten what that is. I made a mistake when I planted this post for a laundry line. It is not stable. It won't come out, but it's not stable, so I've got to dig it up, put some more rocks around it, and some more cement. Lots of forsythia, and we're being invaded by these, by the English ivy, it's just, and the vinca minor. I thought it was pachysandra in here too, it's just kind of invasive, just killing everything, everybody. I was really surprised when this rhododendron blossomed last year, because this had threatened to die until I cut everything back. I was very surprised. I was supposed to move that and give it away. But it's doing too well. And, uh, maybe it'll be nicer once the neighbors put their fence up. You know, he turned over the soil. Maybe he's going to put shrubs. And there's our male holly. 
I've been cutting it back I've been cutting it back trying to sculpt it to a point where it's actually not just a mess but I also want to make some room to put his girlfriend next to her and uh, there's the pond the black lagoon that I did empty out completely a couple weeks ago bucket by bucket got all the dead leaves out of it um, and then I spent some money on some floating plants which something came along and ate I don't know what it was uh, raccoon, possum, but something just pulled them out and ate the lotus blossoms. So I may have to go back to the store. I don't know, they're still green. We'll see. Um, I did rake this back. I've got some flag iris and some other iris and some nice little ferns growing here. I really should uh, turn over some of the soil and try to get the ramps, cultivate the ramps back here where the soil in the dark is better for it. We'll see. Another project for another year. Lawnmower man's getting braver and braver, so we finally can get around this holly. Yeah, maybe I'll do some sort of bonsai to it. But uh, there's our debris pile, which took me three years to get rid of the other brute debris pile, and now I started a new one. And a uh, big debris pile, which is just in the shape of a building. I keep my shed, I keep all my junk. And here we got some this lovely selection of mosses. Oh, yeah, forgot I got two of those. Don't use either one. And uh, I did have a bird bath, which the cats used to sleep in. But uh, uh, the previous owner built this, and I just keep throwing. Anytime I find a plant that is in the wrong place, I throw it in here. It gets mostly full sun, so there's always something in bloom. Which is kind of nice. And I scoffed this from the neighbors. I'm gonna take it apart and rebuild it. I have to block off the side from the dog keeps escaping. Anyway, so that is the what's going on in the yard this year. And eventually I'd like to get a butterfly or dragonfly up on the side of the house. I don't see that happening. Yep. Hey, I'll see ya. We have this lovely azalea. And a big of a mess. I really have to get in there and sort the grass from the not grass. I don't feel like doing it. Got some bleeding hearts, and some pachysandra, and some lilies. And some Lily of the Valley. I think that's Tiger Lily. I'm not sure. And some other ferns. And we have one lilac here. It's not doing too great. And we have one lilac here that is absolutely almost not 99% dead. Except for one little tiny green spot. So I have to figure out what to do about that. I'm not going to... This is basically the squirrel highway. So they must have, we have a lot more squirrels than last year because the neighbors took down three of their trees. So they ate all the branches, all the bark, which no doubt killed this lilac. I mean, they didn't have much choice. This is where the only nutrition they could get. So I was going to leave it all up until it falls down. And then I'll have to replace it with something else to keep the squirrels from getting killed by the cats. And this side I'm planning to, that's where I want to put that, rebuild that fence. But I'm also planning maybe ostrich ferns up down the side of the house. Uh, maybe some fiddleheads. It's a pain to keep it raked and to keep it mowed. So I think maybe just filling it up with something. I do have to get back there in the winter time to keep the uh, vent shoveled. But aside from that, 